Hey, hey folks, welcome to my kitchen once again. Today's recipe is going to be uh, eggplant, um, eggplant loaf. And when I first saw this recipe, um, it entailed one of the ingredients um, they used was um, mincemeat. And I decided I wanted a total, a total vegetarian um, eggplant loaf today. So now I wouldn't be putting any, um, any mincemeat in mine today. Um, I just came from the beach a little while ago and um, I said, well, you know, it's, it's lunchtime, now to prepare lunch. Um, I was trying to get some photographs to show you guys the beach and so forth, but they didn't come out too well. But um, I was still trying to attach some for you, for you guys to see what the beach looks like in my area. Okay, so let's get to the ingredients and to make this um, eggplant loaf. Okay, so here we have two lovely um, eggplants. I diced up half of a medium-sized onion some sweet peppers this is basically half of a sweet pepper that I diced up this is some garlic cubes um, I'll leave a card at the top right hand part of the screen to show that you um, with a video at, about how I um, store my garlic so this is basically the garlic that I, I blended up and I stored in my freezer we have some basic seasoning, salt, black pepper, and dried basil leaves. Again, I'll show you. I'll leave a card on the top right hand part of the screen with a, with a video about how I dry my basil this leaves. This is two eggs that I basically whisk up here. Okay, so here's the um, eggplant. Um, as you see, I cut it up and everything. I peel, peel the eggplant and cut it up into small pieces. Um, even though it, lo it looks like a lot, um, it will eventually basically simmer down to half of this mass. Let me show you what I do with the skin now. Um, the skin from the um, eggplant. Okay, so here's the skin. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bake it for like a few minutes, maybe three, four minutes. And the intention objective is to get them a little more flexible. They're kind of like a little stiff right now. So I'm going to get it a little more flexible. And um, so I'm going to put it in the oven, let them bake for, like I said, about three to five minutes. Okay, so here's my also faithful iron pot. To this, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil. I'm using canola oil here. And then the first thing I'm going to add is the onions, garlic. And my mom is always says that the key for a tasty eggplant or melon gen dish is garlic lots and lots of garlic <coughs> I'm going to add the sweet peppers now too as well let these sort here a bit I basically added the sweet peppers the red and green to give this a little extra color <coughs> okay now I'm going to add the eggplant You have to add some water to this to for the egg plant to cook properly. I'm going to add the other ingredients: the salt, the black pepper, basil leaves, dried basil leaves. Another good herb to add into this is I mean, could use some chive, chive, and add some water. Then I'll cover the pot. Let this simmer, simmer properly. Let the eggplant cook. This is about a cup and a half of water. <coughs> okay, so here's the um, eggplant. I think it's basically about 50 minutes past already. And you can see the mass has reduced already quite a bit. But um, I want this to basically mash up some more. So it needs some more cooking. And what I'm going to add, I got a pepper, local hot pepper. I'm going to add that. And let us continue to cook and I'll be back with the final part of this recipe
Okay, here we are again. Most of the water basically has um, dried out. So I think it has about maybe another five minutes again. And what I will do, I'll use this to kind of like kind of press down on any of the big bulk inside of the pot here of the eggplant. I tasted it, I added a little more salt. And that was all. I removed the, um, the pepper because if I didn't, while mashing it, mashing it like this. I could mash the pepper and this will get way too spicy. So I had to remove the pepper to do this step. So after maybe about let's say five to seven minutes, I'm gonna turn up the pot, let this cool a bit. Okay, here is the skin of the eggplant looking a little more a little more limber as you would see. So I'll let this cool a bit and we'll go put everything together and I'll make the final final loaf okay so I have here one of my bread pan and I have lined the um, the, the skin of the eggplant with it basically that's it um, when I was baking them I applied a little, little bit of oil so basically they're a bit greasy so that will kind of like help them not to stick at the bottom of this pan so what I'm going to do next I'm going to fold the um, the insides of the eggplant that we just cooked into here so let me get to that part to show you what I'm going to do next so here's the cooked insides of the eggplant remember I said um, for the list of ingredients we're going to add two eggs so I'm going to add that now I don't I, the reason why I allowed the um, eggplant to cool because I didn't really want the egg, the egg to cook at this point so I'll just mix that in Then I'm going to put this into the um, baking dish. Smells really, really nice. Lovely. What we're going to do next, we're just going to basically just overlap the, I deliberately left the extra skin over for this. Actually, the, the, the eggplant was so small, um, that's why this is so short. So I have some extra eggplant skin, I'll just cover that like that. Be creative here with it. Do my own thing. So I'm going to put this back in the oven. Set at 350 degrees and let this bake nicely, y'all. We'll just cover that. The air stuff was sticking there. Good to go. Okay, so here's the eggplant loaf. I had it in the oven for basically about an hour. So I'll let it cool before I actually cut into it. Okay, folks, so after the um eggplant loaf was cooled in the pan I took it out from the baking pan and it was very easy to come out and this is what it looks like so I'm now going to slice into it and enjoy oh before I forget um the first time I tried this um I didn't put the eggs and it was a bit mushy <laughs> it was kind of like you know falling apart so I took the extra precaution to put the eggs this time and um so it could hold hold its form Okay, here we go. I just slice into it. It was very easy to cut into. Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. This is really heavenly. This is really, really nice. Um, you know, the thing about it is that I'm enjoying this. I always did like to make a casserole like this with the um, eggplants, but we, my daughter and I, we used to fry fry the eggplant before, and then make the casserole. And it used to be the egg used to absorb a lot of oil, a lot of oil, and I never tried it again. And since I found this recipe, I had to try it, and I'm not disappointed. It's really nice. It's really nice. I, I'm loving it right now. I hope my husband likes it. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's so funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Let me know what you think about it as usual. All right. Bye-bye.